one my hand one to you squad welcome back to the channel so today or should i should always say today today we're going to begin the full install of a full-size intercooler on a 3800 now we got a special guest star look who is here today hello and how are you doing right now Live and yep exhausted she, but i'm here she's doing a little a little better she's still struggling but for the most part she's actually active somewhat again so so to those that watched the ZZP podcast yesterday it was a little five second clip of uh, them mentioning about uh, reliability of an F23 and F40 and that mine was broke and said my F23 uh, was broke or whatever that's why my car is down. No, that's not true. So let me clarify this. The first F23 I bought was used, which I knew was on borrowed time. And as you can see, my F23 is still in my car. It is not broke. That's a brand new F23 that's got maybe 120 miles on it. So the reason my car is down is not because of my transmission. It's because of my motor. So let me just set the record straight there. I don't know why they even said that, but anyway all right so let's start this whole step-by-step -step process let's begin now it's going to you to pause the video when needed okay so now what you're going to do actually uh let me get back here and grab this should have had it already you want to have these so you want to get these there's three eighths and five eighths. Okay. Um, get my five eighths in here somewhere. Look, I don't want to keep digging. I'm just tell me what you need. I think this is it right here. Okay. So you got this one and that. So you'll need them. Now, what you're gonna do? I'll just bring one of them. First. Is you want to remove your fuel lines relieve the pressure off your fuel system now this is a l32 car so this there's a straighter valve relieve the pressure off the line and then um you will take this slide it there push it back and the line will come off now after you get that done get you a, a 10 millimeter and an extension Okay, and grab yourself a magnet. You're gonna take off that bolt, that bolt, this bolt, and that bolt, which goes the same on the 3000 series too. And once you take those off, make sure you use your magnet so you don't lose those bolts. And then you're gonna unclip, unclip your six injectors. Unclip them. Now, you, of course, you have to remove this bracket you won't need that anymore where you're going and uh, take a little pry bar put it right here pry up the fuel rail get that out your way okay now moving on you want to take off um, your belt you won't be needing that where you're going take off your air box and all that and then if you have a uh, throttle body that's cable you want to take off your throttle body so you don't have to mess with the throttle body cables just take the throttle body off and just set it to the side if you have drive-by wire just leave it on the supercharger for now just take that plug off just leave it on the supercharger now now you want to take the supercharger off. Would you be there? That bolt. This one. There. 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 Here. Right there. Right there. And there's one under the, right there. Alright. Take those off. Once you get those off, pull the supercharger out. Okay, now, 
once the supercharger is off um i think that's all i need to show for on this car i believe yes now that's all i need to show on this car now on to this one so it'd be wise to use ZZP modif or ZZP fuel logs. So if you got fuel logs, go ahead and install them now. So put your injectors on, bolt them down, and then bolt them down right there. Okay, now I use this type of gasket. So my lower intake manifold is cut. Acknowledge that right there. Cut yours like that. Now your gasket, when you get it, if you use, if you just, I did this on all three, all the cars. Use the same gasket. And I don't use RTV. So, um, you take the gasket and you cut it, of course, to that shape right there. All right. Now, once you do that, take your core. If you bought, if you bought the core used, okay. You can uh, put some water through. I already did this on this, but put some water through and make sure it doesn't leak because if it does, you don't want that to go on your motor. All right. All right. Now, there's that. Now for the heat exchanger. Now you're going to take your bumper off. Grand Prix usually have a 10 millimeter. Mili 10 millimeter bolt right here and on the 04 plus there's one here and then there's one right there okay once you take those bolts off and then you got to take these seven millimeter bolts off for the fin uh, inner fender wheel covers and then there'll be some plastic clips on the bottom like this you'll pop those off and then the bumper will slide off on the 04 plus once you remove the bumper, you'll have these plastics right here that you'll need to remove. Well, we'll get to that, but you'll need to remove that whole plastic piece. Now, once you get to that part, you get you some self-tapping screws, okay? Like these. And what you're gonna do, if you look at the bumper support on the bottom, There'll be one hole, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So you want to go to the fourth hole, have it centered. One, two, three, four. And it's the same over here. One, two, three and then four so it should be three holes apart on both sides that's how you know it's centered so this hole right here what i did was i take a little small drill bit and start a hole and then go one size bigger than that and then i use this self-tapping screw to open the rest of the hole i decided to go back further you can find a bolt that i actually thread to here if you if you can um I use that because I wanted this to slide back further so my fog lights are clear so it won't hit the uh, heat exchanger. So that's how I did it. And before you put it on, um, if you notice also too, um, there's that piece right there. I just bend it out the way so because it didn't want to hit the uh, hit lecture assembly. So I just bend that out the way. And then uh, the top. of the heat exchanger, you wanna put that in first before you uh, hang the heat exchanger. So have that set up first, and uh, that'll make life a lot easier. Now, so we're all caught up here. Let me show you about my core. So I have to run a breather because my PCV is not functional anymore. So the PCV is right here see how it's blocked so it's blocked there which if you look on the gasket there's the pcv right there and then there's right there 
so it's not one at all here okay and it's blocked right there so that tells me i need to run a breather because other than that i won't have any pcv so i even tried to blow air through and there's nothing going through so i saw i confirmed that i don't have pcv which is okay so we just have to run a breather which is the same ordeal i had to do on my brother's car because he has the same heat exchangers or intercooler core as i do so okay we're all caught up now i'm sorry if i've been babbling too fast but um i had to get you caught up with what's going on so now what we're going to do now is uh i'm going to gather all the parts to get this project started and i'm going to show you the fittings that you need to buy and uh yeah so i'll be right back okay so all right so here's um i got the uh intercooler holes so you can go with three quarter but i decided to go with five eighths just because of the size of the core it'll be uh it'll be a nice slug snug fit you can see it'll go right on there nice and snug and then you want to get uh these this size fitting for Right here the thread right on there and then we'll put the thread tape on there so let's go ahead and get that and then i'm going to run the hose and then after i get those fittings in the um holes hooked up which i have some 90 degree um fittings which there's the part numbers for those uh once we get that on there um i'll uh explain the process of that so uh let's go ahead and get this installed so we got I had to change the battery on my camera so there's what we got going on okay so we got the bottom going into the pump and then it goes out the pump and I got it going through there Got them both coming out of there. It'll go around the fuse box and then into uh, the core. And then coming out the core, back down. And it goes, that's, wait a minute. Yeah, that's lot, that line right here. And it goes to the top, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these elbows and we're going to put it right here in that part and we're going to run a line all the way across so we can hook it up to that little reservoir i got right there so we're going to do that and then we're going to hook up the core and then uh we'll discuss it Okay, and there you have it. Our uh, intercooler is officially plumbed. So uh, what I did was I put the 90 degree right there and it goes around it here. Then it goes down in the bottom. 
and then it comes up through there right to the reservoir now i use hellboy's crossbar so i get mine back from powder coat but this is where it's going to reside it'll be right here so there's that and uh we got that all plumbed and hooked up so now what we're going to do is uh we'll go ahead and set the supercharger on and uh when we put the gaskets on it's the same as we did on the uh the bottom you just lay it right there and make sure you trim it out and then we'll set the supercharger down and then we'll bolt that up Okay, so I don't have my supercharger torqued down because I got new bolts coming in the mail, but um, I just got them like snug because all these bolts are going to come back out. I'm going to have to order uh, a straight for right there because um, it's it's too close to my, uh, my uh, fuel rail, the boost bypass valve. It's actually rubbing that. So I need to get a straight fitting for there and then the uh, fuel line be able to go underneath the supercharger. But now, so now that you got the supercharger bolted down, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna hook up the wiring for the intercooler pump. And then once we do that, then we'll, we'll add fluids and um, we'll prime the system. So pretty much we're gonna use uh, I'm gonna clean this ground up right here. So we're gonna grind it, ground it right there. And then we're gonna run, um, let me get this cover off real quick. Come on. Okay, okay so we're gonna run um, our power wire to this right here. But before I do that, so I can prime the system, I'm just gonna have the power wire jump off of here so I can prime it and then once I get it primed I'll hook it up to right here and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay so we got it wired up. I ended up snapping that ground right there so what I did was just uh, ground it right there. So that's all good. Um, we got the wire ready for the jump. We'll just um, touch that wire right there to the battery before we connect it to the fuse box. And now I'm about to fill it up with coolant. And then uh, I'll come back and show you guys when I prime it. All right. So I'm not going to lie. That was a nightmare. Because I got to bleed all the bubbles out. So, this was really not the best idea, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it worked. Um, I had to keep pulling this off so I can get the pressure out the system so I can keep filling the heat exchanger, but got it all, all good to go. So, all I need to do is run this wire to that wire right there, but just to show you that everything's working. All plumbed up, all good to go. All right, so here's that. Now, that is the completion of installing the intercooler, which is a pain in the ass, but it's all right. Um, so, what I'm gonna do now is put on my custom made fender well intake, which is this right here. So I took a uh, 45, three inch, and then put a three inch to three and a half, 
for the LQ4, and uh, 375 to 4 inch to there. So uh, let me get this on, and then I will show you guys how it looks. But before I do that, show you right here too. Um, so I line that up so it doesn't rub, and then I did the same thing right there. So, well, let me get that on. All right, so we are completely done with the install. We got the fender well intake on there. It's all done. And uh, we got the throttle body heat shield. I forgot to mention to bolt your throttle body on, but you should understand to do that. So, hope that helped out a lot of you people on the install. Um, you can go as simple is uh, just putting um, a hose up there and then it's capping that hose right there. You ain't got to do all that if you don't want to. So, yeah. That is it. So that's going to conclude um, this. Uh, off camera, I'm going to uh, um, I'll get the front bumper on and uh, I'll record when I trim them plastics is what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to trim this that area right there and put the plastics back on so we'll see how that goes actually you know what let's do it alright I couldn't record that because as you can see it's dark out here and I don't have a lot of light so I got the plastics on um, pretty much had to chop quite a bit off but got it on up in there I'll clean that up tomorrow but the pretty much the whole This whole back section, all of that, has got to come off. And then you got to notch it here, and you got to notch it right there on both sides. So that's it. So I'm going to end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh